Hi everyone, Mirma here, and today I'm going to tell you how I went from my first PvP experience to a Skyros Pro player in only 6 months. Alright guys, so I joined iPixel on January 2019, and I played my first Skyros game around the end of March 2020. And that game was my very first Minecraft PvP experience. And let me tell you one thing, I was extremely bad. In fact, I grind my first 12 stars by playing without trying to improve at all. I was winning a game here and there among thousands of losses, and ultimately, getting wrecked all the time was quite painful. So about 3 months ago, I decided to get better and I looked tutorials on YouTube how to be good at Sky Wars. But none of them really worked for me. The reason is that all of them assume that you are somehow good at PvP and you kind of know what you're doing, but it wasn't my case. Except for Game Sense, which I'll talk about later, I was doing everything wrong. And basically, to have a good game sense, the only thing I did was playing Skywars. You don't need IAQ to know that you need to run from guys with strengths or from guys with far better gear than you have. Game sense is all about not making dumb decisions. You don't have to make the perfect ones each time. Just make sure not to make the ones that will kill you. The first thing I did to get better at Skywars was to get better at PvP. And that's the main point of it. And here are the steps I took to make it happen. Jitter clicking, hot keying, friable use, strafing, sprint, resetting, and finally training. Jitter clicking, it's optional, but I would definitely recommend it because it will help you with other aspects of the game like clutching. There's plenty of good videos about it on YouTube, but I recommend you Intel Edits one. Really great video to learn how to jitter click. After I learned how to jitter click, I needed to fix something really important and that thing was hotkeying. Basically, I was using my scroll wheel to navigate between items in my hotbar and the problem is that it's slow as hell and not reliable at all. So I did it this way. I learned a key at a time making sure I was good enough with that key before moving on to the next one. And gradually, I learned how to do it with all the keys at the same time. And, I will, and now I'm not using the scroll wheel anymore. So that's a huge help in Skyros games. The final step was training. So I spent about a week training points after points in classic duels, moving on to the next one when I was good enough with the previous one to not have to think about it too much, so I could focus on the new one. When I, when I felt confident enough, I went back to Skyward's game. And after that, uh, all I needed was to learn how to use throwables in fight and basically, right before the opponent is in your reach, hit him with a throwable to slow him down and then go for him. Then I learned strafing. In Minecraft PvP, you don't want to straight line your opponents as it is then easier for him to keep his crosshair on you. Strafing is just moving in a way that you are harder to hit. It can be in circles around your opponent or from left to right and right to left. The final step was training. So I spent about a week training points after points in classic duels, moving on to the next one when I was good enough with the previous one to not have to think about it too much, so I could focus on the new one. When I felt confident enough with all that crazy stuff, I went back to Skyward's game and I tried to apply all I learned so far, and I immediately felt the difference. I wasn't able to kill better gate player, but I could at least, PvP gods excluded, kill players with similar gear or less gear than me. When PvPing started to become muscle memory, I started focusing on other aspects of the game, such as bridging and clutching. First, I learned to speed bridge. Then, every time somebody was throwing me off an edge, I was trying to put blocks underneath my feet in order to prevent me from falling into the void. With time, I managed to clutch without thinking too much about it. And now, it has become muscle memory. But all together, these points combined with game experience ended up making me a fairly good Skywars player. I'm grinding stars in like 5 days 
with a couple hours of playing a day, so that's pretty good. Well, that's the end of the story. If you want me to do a tutorial video for all these points, let me know in the comments. And I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing or sharing it, it would mean the world to me, and I'll see you on the next one.